Shalom. The Jews never translated Gay Ben Hinnom as hell. The Jews never had that valley as a concept of a place of everlasting punishment. That valley was a shameful valley where the children of Israel burned their own children up to a god they called Moloch or Melech, king, Moloch. And God said such a thing that they did never entered in his mind. It was a, an abominable, despicable thing, according to Jeremiah. Gay Ben Hinnom in the Old Testament in the Jewish Bible is never translated hell or anything like that. And Gay Ben Hinnom in the Old Testament was never translated hell in any Bible translation, a Christian Bible translation. Period. Yet now in the New Testament, the King James Bible translators translated the city dump in which the children of Israel offered up their own children. They translated Gehenna, the equivalent of Gay Ben Hinnom, hell. Well, the King James translators went hell crazy. They went even further than that. Uh, there's another word, Tartarus. They translated that word, hell. So now we have four words that are translated hell. Sheol, sometimes. Hades, all the time. Gehenna, hell, all the time. Tartarus. And then we have another place in the book of Revelation. The lake of fire. Now that, according to traditional Christianity, is the real hell. But you know what? The lake of fire in the book of Revelation is never called hell. They never translated that lake of fire as hell. As a matter of fact, their hell ultimately is going to be thrown into the lake of fire. And the lake of fire is called the second death. If you can hear it, the lake of fire is the death of death. Jesus said he would rule and reign till all his enemies are destroyed. Death is an enemy of Jesus, and ultimately he will destroy death. The death of death is life. That's the good news that Jesus said he came to bring to all mankind. Anyway, before I get a little further into, the, into this hell chaos that the traditions of men have created, have complicated hell, I wanted to show you something else that I had here before I get into the NIV, NIV again. I went to great expense and bought a whole bunch of Bible uh, pages from an original 1611 King James Bible. These cost me hundreds of dollars, actually thousands of dollars altogether. And I bought these. These come from a King James Bible, 1611, original first printing edition. They come from what is called, and I have several more here, the King James She Bible. Because in one passage in the Old Testament, one printing of the 1611 had the word she and the same 1611 version by a different printer had the word she, he. So one had she, the other had he. So now we had the 1611 she, she Bible and we had the 1611 he Bible. For those of you who have been taught that the Bible is inerrant, infallible, God-breathed, um, without error, I bought these pages of the original 1611 because every single one of those pages have errors in them. Every single one of them. There is no such thing as an inerrant Bible translation. Whether it's the King James Bible, which held sway for 400 years, whether it's the NIV, the leading selling Bible translation, or any of the other ones that I mentioned earlier, not a single one of them are, is without error. And if you do any digging and researching and comparing 
Greek, Hebrew, comparing English translations, it becomes very obvious that it's human beings doing the best that they can with their human skills to get at the original meaning of manuscripts that are thousands of years old, the originals of which we no longer have in our possession. This hell issue, you've heard it said probably many times that the Bible has more to say about hell than it does about heaven. I've heard that from pastors many times. And I've also heard that Jesus spoke more about hell than he spoke about heaven. Both of those statements have been passed on from pastor to pastor, from sheep to sheep, from Christian to Christian. And if you ever checked it out yourself and went into a concordance and took a look, you would find that those statements are absolutely, utterly false. There are far more references in the Bible on, about heaven than there are about hell in the leading selling English Bible translations. And there are far more references about heaven and the kingdom of heaven in Jesus' mouth in any translation than there are the words hell. This is just an example of the way myths and lies are perpetrated and passed on by well-meaning people. Pastors, most pastors aren't out there to deceive us. They're just deceived themselves. They're the blind leading the blind. And the Bible tells us that both fall into the pit. No, they don't both fall into a hell of everlasting burning. They fall into the pit. They fall into darkness. Anyway, how many times does the word hell appear in most leading Bible translations? You'll be shocked. The Bible consists of over 770,000 words, about 2,000 pages in the average Bible translation. You would think that if salvation was deliverance from hell and that everyone was doomed and damned to eternal punishment unless they got born again and, say, and, and asked Jesus into their life, you'd think that every page on the Bible would have that warning, that every generation would, have, would be, raise up prophets to, to express that utter warning. How many times do you think the word hell appears in your Bible translation? The original King James Bible, the 1611, the one that contained 14 additional books that your King James Bible today does not contain, the original 1611 contained the Roman Catholic Apocrypha. Most King James only people do not know that. It contained the word from cover to cover only 64 times the word hell. Over the years, they eliminated the Apocrypha, and today the average King James Bible does not contain those 14 additional books. So now, if you look at a traditional King James Bible, you find the word in there 54 times in the entire Bible. In the 1980s, they revised the King James Bible and produced what is called today the New King James Version, which is a very successful and very popular Bible translation. This, the translators of the New King James, and I believe uh, Nelson Publishers, another leading uh, publishing company, are, are the publishers of, uh, of the New King James. The word hell appears in that translation only 32 times. So here we have it dropping from 64 times down to 32 times within the same family of Bibles, the King James tradition, based on the Greek Texas Receptus. So in 1881 and 1901, um, the two committees in Europe and in the United States got together, created the American Standard Version and the Revised Standard Version. And when they got done, they discovered that there were only 13 places that there was a hell in the uh, King James Tradition Bible. So we went from 64 to 55 to 32, and now we're down to 13 times the word hell appears. And guess what? It appears only in the New Testament. It disappeared completely. 
in the Old Testament. Because the word Sheol in the Old Testament